All right. All right, YouTubers, we got another unboxing video for y'all. This should be a Acer computer, i5-8400, um, four gigs of RAM, one terabyte hard drive, and it should also, um, well, it's, it's a hybrid hard drive. Working RAM, integrated graphics, um, CD ROM, DVD ROM, all that good stuff. So let me get the parts out. So the box is a wee bit big. I don't even think you can see what I'm doing here, folks. A wee bit big. Okay, so before I do anything, let's take a peek in the box. This is pretty piss poor. Um, packing by Acer folks see that there's nothing surrounding it um, there was something on top but not real impressed with that so let's go ahead and uh, put the box down get all this stuff out of here all right there we go so there's the computer And as always, you can expect that I will do all kinds of upgrades on this thing. So I don't know if this one's even picking it up. Not really. All right. And then you, you are getting blinded by the light. Sometimes. We don't always do the best job of setting up these camera angles. So I'm taking, I'm recording with three different cameras. And hopefully we'll get some good stuff here. All right, so here's a computer. Um, the pooter. Let's see what came in the box, folks. Should be a power supply. Somewhat crappy keyboard. Let's go for a mouse. Probably get junk mouses. Yeah, that one looks like junk. Overall impressions, folks. Uh, mouse. It looks all right. We can get that in there. No, we can't see it with that angle. shut this light off a second I think we're all gonna go blind so there's the mouse and uh, you know it looks all right nothing special $5 mouse power cable can't do anything with that power right there is the keyboard which is uh, not the cheapest keyboard I have here, but uh, I don't know where this was made at. But all the same, not the best either. All right, and then for the computer, there she is. So let's um, let's talk about this a little bit. I can get a better view here at the front. All right, so obviously DVD-ROM, micro SD, um, USB Type-C, USB 3.1 probably. You've got a mic and probably a headphone there. On the side, you see Windows 10, 64-bit, 8-gen Intel Core i5 Plus processor, Intel UHD graphics, which suck. One terabyte hard drive, 16 gig. Intel Optane memory. Ooh, interesting. 
thought this was a hybrid hard drive, so maybe it's got a little more to it. Four gigs of RAM, DVD, rewritable drive, card reader, and it is a 802.11c AC wireless networking, um, plus compatible with a bunch of other things. So save your box, give this planet a break, yada, yada, yada. Thank you for purchasing this PC. All right, so let's take a look at the back. And drop her down some more. You can see, hopefully. All right, so in the back, we have, um, starting from the bottom up this time, microphone, headphones, and whatever the blue one is. Sadly, I can't remember. Uh, Ethernet, <laughs> two USBs on the back, 3.1s, four regular USB 2.0s, VGA, and this happens to have two HDMI, so we uh, may be able to hook up three monitors of this. There is a uh, slot for the video card there. And you know what? Shall we open it up, folks? Might as well, right? Might as well. All right. Now, Of course, this may, may void the old uh, warranty, but uh, whatever. Can't do much if you're going to not take some risk, right? All right, so that light is probably blinding everybody. Let me um, hold this guy. Boom, pop that off one hand. Eventually, I'll do a uh, upgrade video, but uh, here she is. Um, so, looks like a proprietary setup, and I'm gonna zoom in here. Maybe we can read the uh, the wattage on this sucker, because power supply wattage is important to know. Two hundred and forty watt max. So that's gonna be a problem, folks, for some stuff. Alright, so let's zoom out a little bit. And so obviously um we've got our CPU fan, heat sink underneath there, the i5 processor. Um as I mentioned that was the uh, power supply. We've got a uh, DVD ROM there. Oh, just like the HP that we reviewed, the hard drive is up under here, which is uh, kind of annoying, actually. Um, if you want to use an SSD, you have to buy a uh, separate adapter. Unless there's a way to bolt it in there somehow, but uh, usually you have to buy the adapter and slip it in. Uh, Power-wise, looks like we do have SATA power right there. We've got a SATA cable. This is um, unfortunate that it's not the other SATA power. Uh, I'll have to look into whether there's an adapter available. You see an extra SATA slot. That's good. So that means potentially, uh, usually there, there's devices, cables that you can split, split off of these and uh, add power. Oh, add an additional power, and it looks like almost looks like there's one sitting in there that you cannot exactly just grab. Got this powerful light, and I can't get it in the right angle, folks, for you. Yeah, it looks like an extra set of power right there. So I can, um, I should be able to add to this, which would be nice. And then the, uh, In the RAM slot there, so but that's all I'm gonna go through in this video. Stay tuned for other videos. Thank you.